Hello, how are you? My name is Anthony Gray of Grayscale Painting. Well, we're going to try for something, uh, once again, a little bit different. Make it as painless as possible. Have a good time. All right. Look up at the board. We have an 11 by 15 inch piece of watercolor paper. 150 pound weight. Heavier the paper, the less likely it will bow on you if you use paper. Okay, let's look down to the screen. Surprise, surprise, a clean palette. Well, today we have Cad Red, Sap Green, uh, Burnt Sienna, Titanium White. Then we have our Thalo Blue, and on the corner we have Black. Yes, I actually have black paint down there. Okay, we're going to try for a nice moonlit, uh, kind of a rough weathered nighttime cloudy uh, ocean scene. I'll throw some uh, palm trees or two in there maybe. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try to get this to be as uh, harmless as possible. All right. Okay. And we're going to get right along to it as you can see up here on the board I have a uh, taped off moon all I did was take a roll of tape uh, I don't even know what size but I, I took a roll of tape took a pencil and you know sketched it out took some two inch tape and you know taped over the moon exact the knife and you just cut it and there you go all right okay so that's what I've done uh, we're gonna get a little bit of glycerin um, I use vegetable glycerin it prolongs the drying time of paint and it helps in the fading and blending and stuff and if you use a little more glycerin than paint it makes an excellent glaze all right just be aware that glycerin kind of uh, reacts to the temperature of your room it's a little cooler it's gonna take a little longer to dry if it's a little warmer in your room it's gonna take a little um, quicker to dry all right so just you know be aware of that don't use too much glycerin a little very little bit goes an extremely long way either on canvas or on, on uh, paper okay all right so we're gonna get on with the festivities I usually use a pretty uh, durable two inch brush um, to uh, apply the uh, the glycerin all right and so I'm just gonna dip my brush to a little bit of glycerin and I'm going to just lightly put this glycerin on the top half I don't necessarily need it on the bottom right now we're not gonna concentrate on the bottom just on the top here we're gonna want to make it a very cloudy nighttime scene okay now be careful with your glycerin when it comes to, to uh, your tape. Your tape is not porous. The paper is porous. The tape is not. Um, if you do use watercolor paper like I, I use, I would be wise for you to uh, wet it, let it dry, put some uh, gesso over it or white paint or something to give yourself a nice little barrier of uh, paint so this stuff can sit on it so the paper don't soak the glycerin in. But it's really up to you, your preference. I kind of know how to work with it, so you know I don't I don't mind. Um, you know what goes on with it <coughs> all right and since it's going to be kind of a nighttime kind of a scene I'm going to take the corner of my brush look down here just the corner and I'm going to throw in a little bit of red why am I throwing in red in a nighttime scene just to add a little mysteriousness to it that's all just like that most of this is going to be covered by blue and purple or whatever okay now I will take and black of course I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue all right it's gonna tear on a deep marine because I did not wash my brush and that's fine just like this look at this all up on the corners hip up there all of this we're gonna add some very interesting shades to this a little blue um, a little swath of blue down here but most of it up around in this area stuff like that okay and like I said this is gonna mix around and, and do all sorts of crazy blends and and whatnot 
I want it generally fairly dark. I'm going to get the smallest, and I mean a small amount of black, okay, and I really small amount of black. And we're going to throw some black in there, okay, especially around that red area. A little blue black, I'm not going to hurt you, uh, particularly in the corners up here, all up in here. Now the paint's fairly wet, as you would know, so the glycerin's moving around doing its thing. Okay, just like that. After I dry off the brush, now remember the glycerin's pretty dark. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'll just bring this up here. Just like that. You guys can check out what I'm going to do here. Okay, and I'm going to just take my brush and we're just going to stir around some of this color. Now, more than likely, I will be doing this again, depending on how much color variance I have, because I still want it to be kind of a, it's, you know, a little, little dark. All right. Now, with me using this brush, the round brush, basically, I want to get the streaks out, obviously. Let's go into that red a little bit. Some of the red's being covered up, which is fine. That's fine. But as you can see, mixed in with that black and that blue. Okay. Really getting it in there. Really stirring it up there. Okay, a little bit too light in this area. But I'm going to pump that up a little bit. Because you can always make adjustments. I'm going to get a little bit of red. I'm going to strengthen some of that red. Just a tad. Red up in here. And I'll take some of it. I'll put it up in here too. Just like that. Get a tiny bit of blue. I'm using only the corner of my brush. Just like that. And I'll pump some of that color in there and once again I will just use my little circular brush and I'll just kind of deepen that in there like that just like so just like that I'm looking at it still here and there gonna play it around with a little bit of um, maybe a little bit of moon glow or something happening with it we'll see as we as we move around move along here I'm still looking at it seeing if I need to add a little more blue a little more of this a little more of that it's really your discretion how much of it you want. Teasing a little more black in there. It's not going to entirely be black. Not with all the blue and the red you got going on. But I'm going to give it the appearance of some nice, almost like storm clouds going on. Happening with it. Here and there. Okay. So it's just me messing around with it, moving the paint around. Circuit of motion. The more you stay in one spot and do it, be very careful, um, the more it starts to blend on you. Okay. All right.
we're going to utilize some of these colors also for the water down below. Now, I could take, and I just may, just for a little emphasis, I will take some, uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit of that. I'm going to take a very small filbert brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of white, and I mean a scant bit, okay, on the tip of my brush here. Because the paint is still wet, okay, I'm going to take advantage of some of this darkness here, especially up around the moon here. Since the moon is pretty much here, I'm going to emphasize some of uh, the sharper lines on the bottom, like this. Okay. But as you can see, my color is starting to blend out. Okay, I'm going to use the rest of the brush. I'm going to just start fading out from the from the top just like that just fade it out there you want a strong bottom edge okay that's basically it the tip of the brush strong bottom edge if you can try to get away with it make it kind of curve to kind of match the curve of the moon there some of that out up there kind of make a more of a glow over here on this side and you just fade it out now you what you're doing is you're really just building up the layer of the clouds okay that's basically it and I'm going around in a circular motion as you can see because obviously the clouds are in a circular motion right And I'm going to keep it in that fashion. Turn the brush around and get a little bit of that loveliness going on, that, going on there. Keep that same illusion of it just circling around. Go in different spots here. See, I'm going, even though I'm going a little further down, but I'm keeping that circular kind of look there. You're going to see in a second. You're going to work it right on around. Keep it circular. Come here. Come a little close. Come, come out a little bit. I'm going to turn my brush around. Get, concentrate more on that edge. Just like that. So you're making instant, um, what you would call, silver linings. But very smooth. Look at that. You can definitely achieve this very easily. Still gonna continue that circle. Right on that water line there. Just like that. See how that white's mixing in with the other colors? And you can continue this straight on, all the way around circular motion like this come out come in just keep it in a kind of a circular vein fade it out from the back not everything has to be super bright only certain certain amounts are bright keep some stronger keep some lighter i'm using the side of the brush as you can see here just rubbing the side of the brush and you're messing with tones and variances and all that good stuff just like that see how see the circular look it's getting so you don't even have to put a glow those clouds help sell that illusion nothing but titanium white I'm gonna come here and we're doing the same thing come up and in like this borrow some of that kind of curve it around bring some of that out here let the paint do the work for you okay that's all look at this look at that, how that's going along all it's going into that black you're already building up depth you're already building up a 
where the light's going. Okay. You see that? Almost a tunnelish type of effect going on there with that. All right. You can put as many or as little of these clouds in there as you would like. Okay. Truly um, up to you of how much of that you want to go on. Okay. All right. A lot of fun. Really is. It's a lot of fun to do these. Still looking at it, I might maybe want to kind of maybe no. I could put some more in there. I don't really think I need it, really. But I am going to do one thing. I'll show you this. Now, it's really up to you if you would like to do it. Um, you don't necessarily have to. I'm gonna put a very faint, very faint glow around the sun, um, around the moon here. Very faint though. Okay, I'm gonna take this small brush, get the smallest amount of white, only a couple taps of white, put it into the bristles. Okay. I'm going to wipe most of this off because you just want a small, like a, a very small glow. Okay. Let's, let's push into the moon a little closer right here. You see what I'm doing? Right here. All right. Let's focus. Okay. You're half in the tape, half out. And you, now, you tap it. You're half in, half out of the paper there. See this? For, and when I say it's faint, I meant faint. Okay, and then we're just gonna kinda just give it a nice little, see this, see? This is gonna give you a nice little, little glow there. I'm going to get a touch more white paint, put it into the bristles. Okay, you give it a nice little love tap here like that. Half in and half out, just like this. Look, I'll go all the way, all the way around and Go in that circular motion very lightly. Very light. Just like so. Now, this brush is small. Um, vary your hand pressure. Okay. I'm going to take a larger uh, brush, soft brush. Still, it's a mop brush, but it's just softer, longer bristles. Okay, and I'm not gonna go in a circuit of motion here very lightly. Kinda feed that. It will show still as a ring. It's just not overly prominent. Very slight. Circuit of motion, that's all. You want it very, very soft. The paint's still kinda wet moving around there. just like that I don't want it overly pronounced okay very soft just like so all right not too bad not too bad we're gonna pull back a little bit here kind of center that back all right so we got a little bit of that happening okay now you have to come to the fun part. We'll take this off. Now I could work on the moon next. But I more than likely won't. Slowly peel this off. I won't be returning to this tape. Now, we're going to do the same thing, same kind of colors here. We're going to put it down here. All right, but I'm going to do something a little different um, as far as shading. Now, I have a little strip of tape just below the, 
waterline. And we're gonna we're gonna do a moon ectomy. Right here. Cut it right off right here. Real quick like. And we're just gonna We're going to get, I guess I'll still deal with this brush here. We're going to get a nice, let's try to, try to keep our line fairly um, straight here. I'm going to go back into my glycerin because we still need a nice little blend. Okay. And really from the bottom here, as close as you can to the edge without going too far into the... Uh, horizon line. We'll straighten up the horizon line a little bit later if, if you kind of get it a little wonky. Just like this. Okay. That's just the tiniest bit of glycerin I, I use for that. Then all the rest you just kind of cover it all up here. Well, wait till you see how I'm going to do the water for the, for the, the, the highlights anyway because it is the moon. Bring it down here. This is a great class project. It will show your your students depth, aerial depth, um, depth, which is you know aerial perspective, and we'll do a little bit of linear perspective also. Okay, all right. So we're gonna move move the camera downward here. You guys get a better shot here. Of what we're gonna do? Let's zoom in a little bit. We're not gonna mess with anything on the top just of, um, as of yet. We're gonna do the same premise. We're gonna get a little bit of red. We're gonna play around with some colors here. Well, we'll pop some here. And we'll pop some right up around here. Just like that. Not too much, really. Um, just a little bit like that. <coughs> We're gonna go into our thalo. Okay. We'll keep it fairly dark. And we're gonna play around all in here a little bit. And we'll put some of that because we're going to turn some of that kind of maroon like that. And we're going to put all that in there like this. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to come up top as close as you can up top here. Close as you can. Try to keep it, get it as close as possible. Close as possible up there. And if you get it as close as you possibly can, um, if you get a little worried about it, I understand. Don't worry. We can f always fix it. But get it as close as you can up there. And all the rest here, because it's glycerin, we could just do a little X stroke there. Mesh some of that color. And then we're just going to brush it from left to right. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Left to right. Keep some of that nice deep intensity there. See this? We're gonna keep working at that. Don't worry. Now we gotta get our our linear perspective going. We get a little bit of red, just a little bit. Pop some of that red down here on the bottom. Get a little darker bef bef um, beforehand, right here. A little deep maroon there, just like that. Straight across, straight across, just like that. We're not quite done yet though straight across. I'm going to get the tiniest bit of white. Okay. Because we're going to add little color variances in there. So, little light streaks. Very, very light. Very light. I don't want to overpower it with the white. Okay. Somewhere around in here like this. And we're not going to go all the way down with it. Just little, little light streaks. Light. Very light. And we're we'll kind of concentrating on keeping this stuff fairly dark down here. Okay. <coughs> Going into my black. Yes, I'm using a little bit of black. 
And we're going to kind of a little bit of black in there, all up in the middle here. A little, little darkness in there. Bring it across. Not all the way. Just like that. Bring some of that here. A little. We're going to kind of keep that darkness on over toward the edge. close to the top as you can. If you need to do it with a smaller brush, do it with a smaller brush. I'm really rubbing it in there just like that. Now you see it's not totally black. You've got all sorts of little bits of color happening in there. I want to push some of this dark really close to the horizon line there. Get it really close. like that okay just like so make a nice deep uh, horizon line all right so I'm still checking it out I'm looking at it here okay I kind of like where it's, where it's heading here with it not too bad okay I am going to We're going to get a, once again, else. well, I could use a, uh, I could use, I'm going to use a uh, straight half inch here. And I'm going to use a little bit of titanium white. We're going to play around with some water streaks here and there. Not too many. You'll see why in a second. I'm going to put something, now remember, it might be white now. Just little things like this. Very, very light, very light like that. I'm going to come on the other side. We'll put some little things here. I'm going to, this is all going to be rubbed in to the water. Okay. You'll see in a second. They're not going to stay. They're not going to stay. Do it just enough. Okay. To just lightly rub it across, lightly, just like that. Try to get some of that out of there, but it's important that you just go straight across like this. You're gonna see little, see just hint, just little hints of that stuff in there, just little hints. And we're gonna add something else to kind of accentuate that a little bit, but just little hints like that. And basically, it's just showing off a little bit of that, that color in there. That's in the water itself. We're gonna get to the fun part. All right. Before I do that, now, because of the way my room is positioned, and plus I got a light on, the glow seems to be sticking out there, kind of, kind of bright. Just bring it up here, and I think it's still okay. I don't think I need to mess with it any more than that. So maybe I'll just keep it like that. Okay, here's the fun part. We're gonna go into a little bit of. I'm gonna take a small fan brush. I usually do it with a toothbrush, but I'll do it with a fan brush today. Small guy, like this. Look down here. You see this? This titanium white we have here. We're going to get a, gonna peel a little bit of that off. Put it right around in here somewhere. Okay. We're going to go into our water. A little bit of water. Just a little bit. Get a little, just like that. Okay. Now, I want to show you something here. When it goes to... Um, using your splatter okay the closer you are the more control you, you have over your board and we're gonna do one of these numbers uh, I don't know if I can show it to you and I'll show it to you on the board here look up here okay look over here the closer you are the more control you have over it okay the farther back 
the more sporadic. Get it pretty close. We're gonna come over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down below a little bit and add a little bit of this splatter. Look, look. Right here where the moon would be. Get it pretty fairly close there. Just like that. See this? And you can kind of bring it out a little bit as you go further away from the moon up here. But we're going to add some of that splatter right here in the middle, just like this. So it kind of gives you that kind of sparkly look there. We'll bring some out here like that. Not as much, but mainly here in the center. Okay, just like that. I'm going to get some thicker paint or at least more of it more of the watered down paint and some of them will be a little little heavier than others so just like that but mainly con controlled here in the center just like that really in the in the center there but you see how close I am just to control it okay I'm gonna get a little more paint. I want it brighter. So it's just thicker paint. A lot of it's um fairly uh, in uh, uh, experimentation. How much real, how much actual paint to put compared to water. Okay, the more paint you have, the thicker, more opaque the, the spots. Like I said, I'll add some of those up in on the on the sides a little bit. So this is kind of the first time you actually use the splatter in the water and less in the sky. All right, that's kind of a first, right? Before we move on here, let's go to the moon itself here. Let's go up here. So many different ways to do the moon. We're gonna peel off. Just be careful with it. I'm gonna go in here. I'll peel it off from the inside. I was hoping to get it all off in one piece, but that wasn't gonna happen, and that's fine. Carefully peel it off. Now, as you can see, the glow is there, but it's not as intense, okay? You're gonna dry brush some more of the glowing uh, uh, features. Now, I'm gonna use some of this watered down white that I have, okay? And very carefully, see, very carefully on the outside, see this, just carefully. I'm gonna use some more. We're dry brushing, just a stronger glow. Half in, half out of your moon there. Just like that. Just a you know, nice little glow here and there. Don't press too hard. It's a good lesson on hand pressure. Okay. And I'm gonna soften up some of that moon edge. Don't need it to be so uh there, soften some of that some of that edge there. Okay. Now there's a few ways you can go about texturing your 
<coughs> texture in your mood. All right. Let's take, I'll take a flat, I'll just take the half inch flat right now. I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit into my black. I'm gonna put it over here. Look down here. Going a little bit into my blue, into that black. Get a little more black. Just like that. We're gonna start, we'll start building it up a little bit. Going into my glycerin now. Loosen up the paint. Yes, I'm using glycerin this time. No water, just uh, the glycerin. And we're just going to start uh, giving a first a first little coat here. As you see, it's fairly dark, and it's fine. We're going to dry brush some patterns on this guy. It's okay. Okay, it's all right. Just like that. Let's go into the black, a little bit of the black. And we're just kind of, see this? Coat some light in there. Just dry brushing some, some areas in there. Get it fairly close to that. Now, once I'm done doing this, it's really up to you where you want your highlights to be. Right now, I'm just getting that interesting moon patterns going here. I'm gonna go to a little bit of white. You can, all right. Look at that, because it's just mixing in. Put a little bit more black in there. I'm using the side of the brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna scumble in some of that dark, just like so. Especially when it's in the middle towards us, it can get a little, little dark. So it's phthalo blue, a little phthalo blue, a little bit of a uh, um, phthalo blue and black. Okay, and I'm just dry brushing the black in, in spots. See this? Just in spots. It's mixing in with that phthalo. Okay. And you notice that I'm, I'm leaving out a bit of a, I'm not putting exactly, look at that, get some nice dark blue happening in there like that. I'm not necessarily, this, this is no glycerin, just the dark blue. Okay. I'm going to go into my white, a little thick white here. And we're gonna play around with it right up around in here a little bit like that usually around the edges there it's mixing in with the colors nothing but white mixing in it's mixing in with the blue mixing in with the black I'm just traveling it around okay Just like so. Put it right in there around the edge. Close as possible. We'll start doing a little more familiar things with it as I'm doing this. A little heavier. Uh, this is titanium white. A little heavier white. And we'll start doing like. What are you dry brushing some patterns up on there like that. See this? Look at that. Mainly on the edge, if anything. Don't go so far into the into the middle. But you know, this is your moon, so it's entitled to whatever interpretation you feel you would like for your moon. Alright. For me, I'll just get a little lighter on the edges there. A little patchy here, patchy there. Up to you really up to you okay I'm gonna come around on the very edge color that in a little bit right here on the very very edge just like that see now it's not too bad now is it and look at that glow you got happening there all right now that's a moon that guy looks like one is way too close for comfort. Kind of get people nervous. That's what kind of moon this is. It's the kind of moon you really don't want to get caught out in. All right? Just taking a little bit of black. 
and just deepening the center area. Okay, do it at a, a piece at a time. Okay, see, you don't have to connect all the patches. Okay, now I want my moon fairly, fairly dark in the center there. You keep mess oh, messing with it and messing with it until you get something you, you can, you, you like. Bring some of that intensity around. Now I have a monitor I have, um, that I'm checking out here. And I'm looking at the intensity, especially in the middle here. I don't necessarily want to cover every single nook and cranny of this guy. But definitely toward the middle here, I want it to kind of look a little ominous. Um, particularly toward the bottom, where it's meeting near the ocean there, it can be particularly darker. And then I, I can kind of mold this darkness like so. And then I won't touch it anymore. I'll leave it be. All right. Okay. See, now that wasn't too painful, was it? Now, let's pan back. Let's see what we have so far. Every once in a while, you know, as you get into it, you just kind of look at it here and and you know, see what you got happening. And this is what we have so far. All right. Okay. I'm going to take one palette knife. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, just a little bit. I'm gonna spread it. Look, come down here, look at, look at this. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. there okay I'm gonna do a nice little cut across just like that you got a nice little thin rim of paint there okay I'm gonna come here I'm gonna go a little press and I need a nice bright horizon line going across the top there just like that okay I might do it a little bit more. I don't want it like really too thick. So I'm gonna pick and choose my spots here. Just like that. And a little bit, a little bit here. Just like that, all right. Okay, we're good. I, won't, I don't wanna overdo it. But that, that little bit will do just fine. All right, and will more than likely be probably the only time I'll use that palette knife. All right, let's come down here. Now remember, now we got a lot of reds and blues, which made the purples and got, you know, and um, um, yeah, that's basically a little bit of black. All right, okay. Let's pick a thicker brush for right now. We're gonna block in a uh, cute little island of sorts. All right, I'm gonna go back into my black I'll pick I'll put it right here going into my phthalo blue phthalo blue and black will work just fine right now Okay So we have a little phthalo blue. We have a little bit of black I need a little more of it than what I'm picking so I'm getting a little bit more because we're, we're gonna block out some stuff here Little blue little black all right um I guess we can do it more or less this way we'll pick a uh, nice little island shape we'll just get the mound going right about here oh something like so okay and we're gonna block in that color all in here no glycerin just paint all paint right now you need something even though it's dark we need something a little darker just to silhouette the little bit of the land here all right and basically that's all I'm doing. I'm just blocking in darkness. 
no details or anything just block it in just like that now the glycerin is starting to solidify get a little 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 tacky which is good which is the reason why I'm also using nothing but paint no glycerin no water just paint it will dry all right quicker but as you can see here we go we got our got our little land mass there I'm gonna take this same brush same color see if I have enough of it we'll start from right about here right about here I'm coming down I'm gonna get a little thicker as I come down it's all right really get that palm tree off the edge there I'm going into my black I just didn't have enough which is fine a little bit of black a little bit of phthalo blue mix it nothing but paint no medium no water no nothing We're going to do that again, right here. And as you get closer toward the bottom, you spread that out like that. All right, so that's palm number one. Okay. Sometimes it will be good, you know, if you can get away with one palm, if you make it dramatic enough, one palm will be fine. Okay, I'm a glutton for punishment. What can you say? Oh, let's curve one right here. Make a nice little curve. And we're going to thicken that guy out right here. Bam. Just like that. And I, I pretty much think that would be about the gist of, gist of it for that guy. All right. So we got those two. Okay. Nothing really, you know. All right. Let's take the very same brush because it has a um, a thick uh, bottom. It doesn't have a sharp edge. We're going to use that to our advantage. I'm going into my white. I'm brushing off most of that most of that white. I'm going into a little bit of the dark. Okay, so I'm going to tint the white that I just put on there. And I'm trying to open open up the bristles here. If I can get away with it. If not, I'll have to use another brush. Okay. Um, actually, I would do better if I used a uh, fan brush. So I won't do that with this brush. I started to do something, but um, I'm going to do it. But this is the wrong brush for it. Not this brush. I'll use a fan brush. I'll use a fan brush instead. So give me a few seconds here. Start to let's put some of this stuff away. Hold on for a sec. I'm sometimes I get to using so many brushes, I just don't put them all away. That's not really a good thing. Just put them away. Just get into the habit of it. Um, doing it this way works for me, so I just don't have a, a batch of brushes laying around. And um, then you find yourself like trying to look for the one you really need and you can't find it. That's yeah, just a heartache. All right. Let's come down here toward the ground for a second, right here, right in this area here. I'm gonna go back into, I'm gonna get a little bit of water. I'm going into a little bit of my dark mix, mixed in with a little bit of that white, okay? I'm gonna take the fan brush here and we're just gonna kinda get some little grass is going in here like this just a couple of little, little pushes I'll light them up a little bit a little bit later here especially up around in here mainly toward where the um, I'm just laying out some if I like them cool if not I can just get rid of them but usually around in, in this area I'm getting a little bit of white And if I like what I see, then I'll just kind of give it a quick flick. Just like that. 
and I might put one here. I'll just I'm just pressing, give it a quick quick flick. Some a little higher in the middle, and then you kind of bring it out there, just like so. Maybe lonely little guy right in here a little bit. Okay, just like that. And I'll take a um, there. I'm just gonna outline a little bit of the little beach area here. Okay, and I might take it. I kind of no, it's not enough water for that. Get a little bit of water. Go into my white. It's tainted with a little bit of blue, just a little bit, and I'll just kind of flick in some nice little pebbly things in here, just a little bit, not really too much. I don't want it to compete with what we got in the ocean there. All right. Let's go into our blue. I'm gonna use the fan brush. Come down here, you can see what I'm doing here. A Little bit of black, a little bit of blue. We need to water it down just a slight bit, just a little, little bit. We'll get some palm trees, go, uh, leaves going here like that okay let's go up here let's bring this in closer show you what I'm gonna do that should be it and we're gonna let's come up here okay a few ways to do this okay um, I'll, I'll use the corner here I'll pop one in like here coming down like that we're gonna pop one in coming down or like this uh, you might you might not see that too well let me aim this downward kind of thing that's going below the camera. All right, we're going to get a little bit of water, just a little bit of water, go into our little dark mix here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here, press, pull, and you just let it go. Give a little curve to it. Look, see this? Press, and I'll aim it out that way. Okay, let's have that come out a little bit further. We're gonna do that again <coughs> for the next one right here. Look, have one come out a little further and then break it up like that. Watch this right here. Look, curve it around right across that moon. It's like that. You see that? it out there like that get a little more black a little more thalo blue and some water loosen it up a little okay uh, I'm looking here. I, I really want to put another one there. We'll leave it at that. But let's see what it looks like together. Let's, we're going to put one here. We're going to have one coming downward like this. Right in front. Like this. Press. Let it go. Press. See this? Look at that. And we're kind of curve it. Curve it downward like that. Get some striations going Put it up here like that because this guy's a little bigger I gotta be a little careful okay we're gonna have one kind of kind of cup across here so I think it's a little thinner up here give it a little little press and have have one angle out that way okay oh uh, Oh, uh, we have an angle right off the page here, like this. Look at that. Not really too difficult to do. Put one right here. Come right off the page. All right. 
and they're kind of single palms there okay we'll pop a we'll pop one here like that and we'll kind of give him we'll make a double palm out of him like that uh, like that I don't even really have to highlight those guys not, not really too much I think those are fine kind of silhouetted back there let's pull back let's see what we got here Think we got to do too much silhouetting with that not too not too much we're gonna we're gonna give a little bit of love to those to those trees it doesn't take much at this stage because we're near the end let's take a we'll take a flat brush doesn't really matter at this point we're gonna go into our little bit of white some of that we're gonna tint that white a little bit and right up around in here we'll just kind of Give them a little bit of little little roundness of texture there. Not too much. I just kind of kind of smooth it out there. A little bit of an outline. I'll just kind of not too much of one up around in here. This area and we we'll get a little stronger here. nice tight little U formations up around here the same thing here a little tiny flick of the wrist this goes to your own interpretation really don't have to add like I say I don't have to add too much and the silhouette of these guys actually helps with every everything else okay like I said I really don't want to highlight too much of the um palms uh, themselves it's a great contrast with uh, everything else happening okay I might strengthen up a few like around in here just to make it a little you know a little darker get some little striations going there I'm just using a little more black just a little more just to really give a separation there like that especially up around here and deepen that that color there just like that all right I really don't see anything else to really add to it okay I think we are uh, just about almost done as you know when we do these I take off the tape okay, we're all kind of, we're back. all right let's try with the brown frame brown frames actually fit for an 11 by 14 they will look like that pretty much all right if you want you know if you're interested in a brown frame it will look something like so okay all right let's put this guy right here out of my way this is the frame that actually fits this here we go just like so all right I know we're at a weird angle but that's what it would look like so for the first time really I've added the splatter effect to represent the water shine instead of putting it in the sky the sky we got the clouds circling around good beginner project really because you can go more and more in depth with this and of course we're practicing linear and aerial perspective okay uh, you still got the details of the moon got such backlit palm trees in their blue and black nothing's really solid black um, besides maybe a couple of spots in here all right but everything's a mixture of the of thalo blue red and black um I'll zoom in a little bit and you guys can get a closer look at it there all right then you know that's basically uh, it wonderful wonderful 
oh, class project, nice little starter thing. Okay, separate your horizon line um, and all that. So, and you know, you got your rule for this, this horizon line is not directly in the center. Nothing's directly in the center. Even the moon is a little bit off to the right. Okay, you got the trees off to the left coming into the into the um, picture. All right, but all right, enough of my um, mouth running. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope it helped you out. I love to see your renditions of it. It's not a terribly difficult um, painting. Uh, it doesn't really have to be in folk mood. All right. Uh, if you don't like the particular colors, use a different brand of, of blue or red. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just showing you the techniques, and you know, you can go, from, you know, you can go from there with it. But I would strongly advise you, if you do have anything in front of your painting like this, it's in deep silhouette. So the darker, the better. Okay, which brings everything else further back. All right. All right. Thank you very much. This is Anthony Gray of Gray Skulls Painting, and I'll see you when I see you.